Welcome to Talk Clearly, the podcast, starring Cypher Sounds and Will Silvents, two comedians that butcher the English language on a regular basis. Have fun following along. It will be painful. Check, check, check. Is this on? Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Uh, welcome to the Talk Clearly, a podcast. My name is Cypher Sounds. I'm very famous in New York. I'm very famous in New York. <laughs> Hi, I'm Will Silvins. I'm very famous in Haiti. That's right. Usually people laugh at that part. That's where. No, I, no. Usually nobody laughs because we. No, but my podcast. part is real because I really am famous in New York, and people are like, oh, that's that we know that. That's a fact. This is the first time we're doing a podcast with people. So. Yes. Hello? If you don't laugh, it's just business as usual. Okay, yes. And what's so great is that Wait, this, this really looks like your audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. I'm on. Guys, give me one second. I'm on, on Air Canada changing my flight. Hello? Yes, man. Are you serious? Yeah. It really says Air Canada. Hey, for... so um, I told okay, him he's, he's a... lucky that Air Canada even answered because... Can you change They'll it? Call you back I'm just doing days. a podcast right now. <laughs> yeah, if you can change it, just change it. 6.30 a.m. Who are you talking to? Air Canada. Oh, I thought you were assistant. No, that's the guy's name, Air Canada. He's, uh, <laughs> he's on WPGC in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Yo, what's up, y'all? Air Canada here. Giving away drink tickets, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Hey, yo, why my mic is flaccid? <laughs> <laughs> Just like you, baby. I always want to use that word flaccid besides saying penis, but now I can say it's not a penis. My microphone is flaccid. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. It's clearly meant to be Sife's mic. Huh? <laughs> I said, clearly, it was meant for Sife. <laughs> what? I don't get it. You I'm see Sife penis You see, you made a joke, and you don't even know how to respond to your own joke. My flaccid mic. I said, clearly, it was for Sife. That's not the black people arguing for all these whites. Jesus. By the way, my favorite new hip-hop artist I is Flaccid it. Mike. <laughs> Great. Sorry, guys. Air Great Canada, piece. a.k.a. Flaccid Mike. You know what's funny about Air Canada is that, is, I want to ask the people of Canada to this, uh, is, have people been having issues with them? Because when we went to Montreal, my guitarist walked up to the gate, they told him to check his, uh, his guitar. Check his attitude. Change his attitude, <laughs> check his guitar and his pedals, and then when he got to Montreal, they were gone, and yeah, he found out that. Found it a day later, they were in Dublin. What? Oh, <laughs> shit. Went from L.A. to Dublin. Yeah. That's mm. fucked up, Air Canada. Man, this fuck y'all because fuck everybody. Fuck, wait, fuck who? No, everybody because <laughs> everybody? I, called, I called Air Canada. Fuck everybody? At, everybody. I called Air Canada at 10 a.m. And they're like, we're experiencing a uh, high volume of calls because of weather. Mm. Like, oh, the stereotype of Canadian weather. There we go. And then they said, we'll call you back three hours later, and I get the call right before we come on stage, and now I can't change my flight. I'm starting off very bitter. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have a great guest with us, ladies and gentlemen. This is my boy, Josh Adam Myers. Clap it up for him. What's up, everybody? Josh Damn great, Comedy Jam. Goddamn Comedy Jam. Incredible comedian. Uh, more than a comedian, he's a rock star. He has this show called The Goddamn Comedy Goddamn Jam. Goddamn Comedy Jam. He fucking murders it on stage. Thank His voice you. is Goddamn great. Comedy Jam. I it's like just, to sing. I like to sing. Zigging's fun, man. It's the yeah, greatest. Thing. We'll be. I'll do some singing for you guys tonight. Oh, we're gonna do some. Singing. We're gonna be goddamn singing. Goddamn comedy jam. <laughs> <laughs> you just sound like you're angry right now. <laughs> so I'm then, promoting your shit, motherfucker. Are I know, but promote it not so aggressively. <laughs> you guys are recording this, right? Because this is gonna be a good episode. Then <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother right here. My brother from another mother. I love this man. He's my one of my best friends. I'm actually from the same mother. But. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, what? Brother from the same mother. No? That she never told me. No? This is Canadian hip-hop royalty. <laughs> a star of Canada's Got Talent. Executive at Def Jam Records. He's amazing. Carter we didn't, we now. Didn't, we didn't announce official. that yet. Wait, yeah, can you say just announced it? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You was talking about... Can you say his full name? Get the full respect of his name without nobody interrupting? Go ahead. What do you mean? Like his real name? His like full... No, because... When you start saying, I hate that, I don't know that, and people start clapping. So just say his full name so people can understand what the fuck. I didn't even understand what he just said. Nobody understood what you just said. No, 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 no. Is it because I'm black? Yes, I Can somebody talk? Why you got the black people on this side and white people on that side? You were supposed to sit here. You were supposed to sit here. What do you mean? You always leave the 
little space in between when you go to the movie theater. He went straight to the flaccid mic, so it's all good. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why, how are you supposed to leave a space in between if there's four of us? I know it's going to be four of us. <laughs> <laughs> Will doesn't even know he's in Toronto right now. He just thinks he's in the Lower East Side of New York. <laughs> New York, yo, Toronto is like a clean ass New York City. It's not that clean. Sorry, yeah. tell him about the stairway from last night. Oh, yeah. we went in the parking lot. We go to the stairway. He goes, "Am I in Jamaica Ave right yeah. now?" Yo, I felt like I was going to the Coliseum. It yeah, was yeah, disgusting. Yeah. One stairway, New York City, <laughs> all the stairways. <laughs> Facts. Fair, fair. Yeah, that's true. And there's a rat greeting you. Welcome to the stairway. <laughs> <laughs> Please wash my tail. Come on in. <laughs> Oh, man. Thanks for joining us for Talk Clearly of the Podcast. This room is pretty much how many people we think listen to our podcast. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we're growing it. You know what I mean? They invited us. This is, you're going to see a, a podcast that grows another five, six more episodes, and then we're, we're going to quit. We, we've had it. We've had Dude, enough. two more years, you're going to have twice as many yeah. people here. So, ah. 16. These are all the people that couldn't get into Issa Rae, so thank y'all so much. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's no fucking way this white dude right here knows about your podcast. He's just resting his feet. <laughs> he's, he's he like, don't, he don't, he don't, he don't, he don't, don't talk clearly it was a rock group. Don't yeah. talk clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so me and with my friend Will here, he doesn't want to sit next to me. We, have, we, we do this show uh, as basically two comedians that butcher the English language and have a lot of fun while doing it. So at any moment, if you hear one of us fuck up, you just yell out, talk clearly or talk clearly or talk clearly. You know what I'm this, this a disclaimer? Just, just do the show. They'll figure this shit out. I was trying to incorporate like an like a interactive part. You know? <laughs> What makes you so angry today, Will? Usually you're this loving spirit. You're always so happy. I always see you. And... This is the happiest I've ever been. Yeah, you, came in, you came in aggressive. My bad. I'll turn you came in aggressive. Because you just did a panel before this, right? Yeah, I did a, I did a, a panel of amazing people, man. What was it about? About um, racism and and that's what I see. Comedy. This is why he's all hyped up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you you white motherfucker. <laughs> Think about the travesties of the world. He's like, all right, let's do some comedy now. Great way to kick off uh, just for laughs on a Saturday. <laughs> let's talk about fucking racism and the uh, perils. Racism and Ooh. comedy. We were just talking about it. I mean, right before they even start every show here at Just for Laughs, they play the Land Apology, which I get, but it's like. I mean, this is a fucking comedy festival. Yeah, they might as well be like, everybody right now, think about the Holocaust. Oh, and now, comedy. <laughs> wait, wait, don't just, not the Holocaust, also slavery and what we did to blacks. Bro. Oh, wait, right, y'all ready to have a good time? <laughs> bro, we used to do, me and Cardi, we used to uh, do this charity event, and it was for kids, right? So we'd be in the arena, and there'd be like 15,000 kids. We'd be playing music, there'd be performances, everyone's going crazy. But right in the middle, they would have this uh, reconciliation with the natives, and a, and a native woman would come out and sing the saddest song <laughs> about her land being stolen. We'd be like, oh, this is rough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it was tough because like all the kids would be like super hyped, and you know, we'd be playing Perry, all the crazy so like, whatever. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I listen, I, I respect it because shit like that. In America, I respect it. That don't even happen in the United States where they say uh, sorry to the natives. So I respect it, but it was like right in the middle of like the Muppets. And, <laughs> <laughs> like the Muppets came out, talked to the kids. And then there was like all these like Canadian pop groups, and the kids would be going nuts. And then, who was that guy that passed away? Was it Gordon something? The Queen. The Queen. Oh, Gordon, uh, the guy from uh, the Tragically Hip. Uh, yes. Legend. Down. Legend Down. of Canada. Respect to him. Tragically Hip. John Doerr turned me on to them, and they should have been far bigger in uh, he, America. No, he I'm was, saying that. He was, he was killing it. But I met, we met every, I met, uh, I'm friends with uh, uh, Trudeau's mom and shit. He pointed over there. I was like, is, no, I was is she here? here? <laughs> just on, just Hi, Trudeau. Hi, yeah, I, I, I call him true. true that. Oh, Lord. Nothing? Nothing? <laughs> nope. I don't think they heard you because you're wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> I also love how the beard is <laughs> it's just <laughs> all squiggly wiggly. <laughs> Somebody should tell him. So even in this country, Trudeau has finally taken off the shackles. So you won't have to wear your mask next time you come here. The shackles? 
Yeah. After he, he they would have let people in the country, but on the 30th, next week, you, you, you no, can just you come and no affect the whole intended. country. You got to say no pun intended. Say it again. You got to say no pun <laughs> intended. Talk clearly or will. Because he said the shackles. Uh-huh. He took off the shackles. Right. The and shoot at the, the brown face in the 88. He did do brown face. What, yes. year did, what year did he do it? You think they memorized the year? White guy, you know. You'll know. Actually, it was, <laughs> actually it was early. It was like in the 90s. So that's later. Later. Yeah, later. <laughs> true that. True that. Wait, okay, listen. If Let me ask you, Josh, you're a yeah. smart guy. Carter, you're, 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 far, you're a smart guy. You get, a, you get an email. Yeah. The meeting is at 12 noon. Yeah. Right? Then the next day they go, hey, we're pushing the meeting up two hours. Yep. Is that 10 a.m. or 2 p.m.? 10 a.m. Pushing up? It's yeah. 2 p.m. Pushing up means it's going. I think it's 2 p.m. 2 p.m. No. no, I think up means we're pushing it down. You don't say pushing it down. What, you on medication? Well, but when they <laughs> pushing it up, is just like we're pushing moving it up. up. I think we're moving it up. That's what I... Up, pushing I, up. I feel oh, like it's getting but closer. But that's backwards. Yeah, that's backwards. Up. Ten it. When you up go is, up, you add. But, up. What do you say? All right, what do you got? You know why you go to the elevator and say, hey, go up. So what are they supposed to say? And you press We're, the basement. What are they supposed to say? We're grabbing the meeting and pulling it. <laughs> two hours. We're, no, t- I, we're I, rescheduling I, to 10 a.m. Pushing up, I think, means 2 p.m. I think they should talk clearly. When you push up Ooh, on the girl. Right. They should talk clearly. When you push up on the girl, you don't be like, hey, can I push up? And she says, sure. And then you walk away. <laughs> Right? Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I completely agree with you, Will. It's the first time in the history of our friendship. <laughs> I'm 100% on board with what he's saying. Yeah, what, do you, what do you think, old white man? What's your name? Yeah, I don't think you speak any English, 100%. <laughs> You're English? You're from England? Oh, sorry. That's, that's the realest that... English that you can be. Like, that's the realest white person ever. Yeah. <laughs> A white man from England. England, England, that's Africa for white people, right? <laughs> That's your motherfuckers work condo. White, white condos, white condo. You came to collect there some taxes. You came to collect some taxes for the queen? Wait, what did you say, sir? Your brothers. Your brothers came up Whoa. 400 years ago. Where white people say brothers, that's racist. I don't like the way he said brothers, yeah. <laughs> brotherhood. Yo, you think Prince Charles or now King Charles, he's pissed, right? Because, yo, his mom, Queen Elizabeth, the longest reigning monarch in England's history, and then how old fucking Charles is, he's gonna be the shortest reigning monarch <laughs> in England's history. Yo, she jerked his ass. <laughs> you see his fingers? His what? Sausages as for fingers. His fingers? Why Wait, do you what? people's fingers? <laughs> I'm not on the, thank you. Charles got sausages for fingers. What, what do you mean, his, his actual fingers? They look like sausages. <laughs> Right. I got all He's got Canada Canada phone green calls fingers. Trying to figure out under which circumstances are you analyzing his fingers. Somebody look it up. Well, I know. I actually, I actually, it's it's actually thing? it is kind of a Is there thing. a hashtag? They're like worried about it because his fingers are oh, fingers like, like sausages. Yeah. Is that like, is it new? Did they just become sausages or is, <laughs> has it been for a while? It's from him lacking of not doing nothing. He just sat there and all his, all his assistants doing anything. He never lifted his hands, so all the blood went down <laughs> and made him look like. You know, sausages. Oh wow, white sausages. Is it all his? All his? All the family has sausages? No, just him. He ain't do shit the entire his life. Oh. <laughs> you know, his brother Prince Andrew is a. They say he's a. He's a. He's a pedophile. Is he white? As you would say, Talk a pedophile. Talk clearly. He's a, a pedophile. He's a white. R, he's a white R. Kelly. <laughs> w. Kelly. <laughs> Andrew Kelly. <laughs> All right. Nothing, nothing better than talking about pedophilia during a comedy show. <laughs> what, what would you rather, pedophilia or that damn message they play before the show? I, I, I thought we were still talking about sausage fingers. <laughs> I was like, is that a sex move? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, this guys, is nice. Speaking brought... of which, yeah. speaking of which, yes. when you, you, someone mentioned earlier, um, you, guys, you guys listen to alt comedy, you know alt comedy? Alt comedy, yeah. you know how like like so what? Not, since we're making this black and white and shit, fuck yeah, it. yeah, yeah, okay. How they said um, white people stole alt comedy from black people. Did y'all know that? I didn't know that. Go on. So alt comedy was comedy with that 
black, they won't let, they wouldn't let black comics perform at the white clubs. So black comics had to be creative and perform at like barbecues or bars or restaurants. <laughs> and that was all comedy. All, and then white people, were, and they were like, ah, it's all comedy. And then white people took it like, we're going to do all comedy too. And yeah, they that, were like a little left field type. Yeah, thing. how they stole woke? How uh-huh. they stole Maroon, Maroon 5? Y'all know about Maroon 5? I know, I know about, about Adam Levine. <laughs> no, not that Maroon 5. I know about Adam Levine getting caught. Maroon 5. Screenshots will get you every time, man. But I kind of think, I don't, like, I'm not saying Adam did what he did is right or wrong, because I think it's wrong if you cheat on your wife, but I think that's that girl trying to get some, like, 15 minutes of, of fame. And that's... I, I, well, are you 100% sure? No, he de- he definitely disrespected, but... Yeah, he definitely shouldn't have been sending texts and complimenting the way that he did. So she's a... The most I say, she's a whistleblower. <laughs> she's a whistleblower? <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. And you and you fuck around with me and you you know you 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 making me feel good, you're making me fall in love, and then you're like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna leave my wife. I'm gonna tell everybody. Well what wife. what if it was discussed beforehand though? Huh? <laughs> what if it was discussed beforehand? Like, yo, you know I'm married, but we can have a little When you something. say before, is that moving up or moving down? <laughs> <laughs> push it up. Don't they push the conversation? It's definitely up. pushing up. Okay. Definitely pushing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're pushing up on that one. <laughs> what about open relationships? Yeah, what do you feel? Will? You think Adam Levine has? Oh, I won't have no, no, no. You get in a relationship with me. That's it. It's just you and I, locked in, closed yeah. relationship. Yeah, yeah. You could open the door. You could open the microwave oven. You could open the the, the water. Right. But not this relationship. I can't. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get my girl to cheat on me. So that I could forgive her and then introduce open relationships. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to start start it. So I gotta use it as a as a what do you call it? Gateway. Uh, yeah, a gateway. You know, gateway. a lot of times when people cheat and then they when they cheat back, right to get even. Yeah. The other person that's cheated first always get madder. Yeah. At the person who's doing the the, the revenge cheat. Revenge cheat. Yeah. Or cheat revenge. Why is that? I don't know. Where the cheated? Anybody ever cheated before? Yeah, who cheated? Who's cheated? Who cheated? English you, dude. Cheated? You cheated? Oh, it got real awkward in this room. Like, this, <laughs> for those this, listening at this home. This cup of my head, they both went. <laughs> they looked at each other like, are you going to raise your hand? Why? Why your hands so sweaty? <laughs> he got sausages. <laughs> he got sausage fingers. <laughs> All right, not you, a friend. Ask him for a friend. You ever cheated? No? You don't believe in it? I've never cheated. Never no? once. I almost did. I almost did. Yeah. And I. I You're trying to give you a pen. I would. I was. This is back when I used to. I used to DJ at a strip club. Yeah. Uh, while I was building my he comedy definitely, career. You Spe- definitely cheated. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. And here's the thing: when you DJ at a strip club, you can do one of two things. And I learned this on the first day because I got. You could do more than two be- things. <laughs> this is true. I there, the guy that trained me was this giant Samoan dude, and his name, I swear to God, was Murder. That was his name. And I then like they set me up with him. He goes, All right, man, there's only one thing you gotta learn about this job. Get that money. And that's it. Girl wants you to play a song, be like, give me five dollars, cause you here to get that money. And he was right. You can do one of two things. You can make money or you can fuck women. And I wanted to make money. And there was a girl that was that was like flirting with me at a different club, and we had set it up. We were going to we were gonna hook up because I'd been in a relationship for like two years. It wasn't going anywhere. We were it was really falling apart. And then when the day came, I couldn't do it. Mm. But I saved a picture that she had sent me in my phone, right. like deep in not even my Gmail, like in my fucking Hotmail, like one I don't even use <laughs> yeah, anymore. Yeah. And I just buried it. I remember Byron Bowers said to me when I showed him the picture, he goes, man, you better get rid of that. She don't, she don't find that. You girl crazy. And I was like, there's no way. And then one night, it was a perfect night in my apartment. She cooked me dinner, and we started watching uh, Girl Interrupted. Just to, you ever seen that movie? No, I yeah, heard it's just it's about about like, like batshit crazy women. <laughs> And I was oh, like, I gotta oh. watch that. Is it a documentary? <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> and I remember I fell asleep on the couch and I woke up and my girlfriend was just holding my phone with that picture, just like, hey, look at this! Hey, look at this! Just throwing oh. shit at me. Oh, man. Yeah, so I got in trouble for cheating by not cheating. And I tried to explain to her I, that I didn't I never, cheat. I never cheated either. Never ever cheated. 
I believe that. There's no story to go with it? No, no story. Just a, just no, I, 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 I cheated. I cheated. <laughs> I cheated. I'm not happy about it. Well, you're a DJ. I no, mean, you know what? No, I didn't get a lot of DJ um, <laughs> Banani. Uh, you could, you could, you had trouble saying that word. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to be too dirty in front of these nice Canadians. What, what's dirty? Uh, what's dirty? Pussy. See, see how they, see how they, uh, what they got? They tell me one. Woo! I got in trouble. I got the same thing with like you almost. What happened? For I wasn't cheating, but I got caught with something that made it seem like I was cheating. I had a, well, I did have a bat phone. I did have a second phone. Yeah, dude, that's fucking dirty, dirty, red dude. flag number one. I did have a second phone, but the girl, the only girl that had that number, we were just friends. But it did look weird that I had a phone hidden under my spare tire in my car. <laughs> 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 Remember the StarTac phones? Yeah. Remember StarTac back in the 90s? No did you, did you have, have StarTac in Canada? We do. You guys have technology here? We do. So the StarTac phone came out, and then one day... I was at, I used to work at Hot 97. I'm very famous in New York. I used to work at this radio station. And Russell Simmons came to the radio station and he had the small StarTech, the mini one. And I was like, oh, I need, that's a great bat phone. You can hide that anywhere. But she found it. <laughs> she, she, had, she popped a tire. She's like, oh, that's how, how sweet of him to leave a phone for emergency purposes. She opens it up. It's just women spreading their birth canals. God, there was no pictures back then. It's a flip phone. I'm, can I tell a story since everybody's telling a story about yeah, you? Were the one, you were the one who set it off and you had no story. I, I, don't have a st- I don't have a story like you guys. I got a, the reverse story. The reverse, yeah. So this girl... You're going to push it up? Push it down. Or pull it back. Speaking, speaking of pushing up, you say push it up, right? Yeah. Do you cheat up or you cheat down? Do you cheat up or... T- oh, like the... The quality of... Oh, is it, you're the one that with the I push up, down. push down. I cheat you, down. According to your definition, you cheat up or you cheat down? Well, I've never cheated, but... Nicely done. I, I would say... <laughs> I, I, was, catch you. I would Nicely say done. I was going to... I was cheating down, but, dude, I sometimes... Well, according to your sometimes logic... Sometimes I'm down with the sickness, dude. You know what whole, I mean? This whole podcast is a rouge from his ex-girlfriend <laughs> to finally get him to admit by the way, cheated. By the way, just I'll, I'll tell you everybody who she is because she's, she's very famous. Uh, she's now married Beyonce. to... Beyonce! She's married to Tommy Lee from Motley Crue. Yeah, that's she was like a big celebrity. Wait, wait, wait! How you gonna say she's famous? But don't say her name. <laughs> but say someone that's famous. It's my homegirl now. I do because I love. She's not famous. I love telling people that my ex is married to Tommy Lee. Yeah, because... but she's not famous. You said she's very famous. She was. She was a big Vine celebrity when Vine was. You very said not say her name. I didn't say her name. I just no, gave like, you. Details. Somebody Google and just yell it out. <laughs> yeah, we got clues. My ex girlfriend fucked Joe, the R and B singer. <laughs> Dude, Joe had some hits though. I was gonna say the one Joe fan <laughs> yeah. who, re- who reacted. Yeah, yo, oh my man, god, I like Joe. <laughs> Joe. What was your story, Will? Oh yeah, yeah. So me and this girl, oh, we yes. was talking on the phone for a long time, but never. No, you, you ever talking to someone on the phone, but you never went out. And she goes, she goes, we. You, well, you work at night, and I go, you work during the day. So I say, won't you come to one of my shows? I'm hosting it, but in between the acts, I'll come and sit with you. And and she said, okay, cool. She said, do I have to pay? No, no, no. I'll, I'll get you win. Mm-hmm. Then, um, then right before I was getting How long leave, were you talking to her on the phone? For like six months. Six, six months? Jesus six Christ, months. Six, dude. Six, six, seven months. All right, Monte I Teo. I met at a club. I meet all girls at comedy club. You met at a comedy show. Yeah, a comedy show. You, did she live far away? No, actually, I was talking to her for flag about, number one I talked to her for a year. How, did she live far away? No, no. She, no, she, lived, she lived up the street. <laughs> And then, so you saw, you met her, the, you only saw her the night you met her, and then after that was a phone, phone relationship for a year. Yeah, for a year. Okay. And then, so what year got, was this? <laughs> who does that? I, mean, I don't know. When after, you know, I, I definitely after Biggie died. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after so, 97. And so, and so she, right before I was about to leave the house, I'm rushing, you know, I'm, I'm running a little late. She goes, can I bring a friend? Women always want to bring a friend, the, the safety friend in yeah. case... In case shit goes, I'm like, yeah, bring a friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I've never had a girl bring a safety friend. <laughs> well, because you good looking, motherfucker. So are you. I know. Don't wear this mask. <laughs> That's why she brought the damn friend. I don't know. He always has on the mask. <laughs> yeah. I don't so, even know what he looks like. I don't remember Man, what he looks like. I met him a year ago. <laughs> By the way, men never bring a safety friend. No, no girl, who's that? Oh, that's Charles, just in case. <laughs> if I get sick, bitch. 
He's gonna take me home. <laughs> right? So yeah. we get to the club. Yeah. She walks in holding hands with another dude. Oh right? no. And she's the guy's behind him and, and, and she like, Will, is, is it okay? Is it okay? I'm like, yeah, it's it's cool, it's fine. Oh. And and so they go in there and they all they all on a freaking date. They eating, they eating like this. They 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 looking at the jokes and then go like this, ah, like laughing together. <laughs> every every joke, they, they'll kiss each other. That was funny, right? I'm like, oh, I want to throw up. I'm like, that, but but I was happy. I'm like, that could have been me, right? So at the end of the show, this guy, this guy sad. At the, Wait, what? Yeah. at the end of the show, the yeah. wait, the waiter came up to me and said, hey, that couple said you're gonna take care of their bill. <laughs> what? No. It was ninety six dollars, right? And, and I go, I, I walk up to, she said, yeah, Will, you said you get me in. I said, yeah, I get, I, I'm not going to pay for your wings and your, and your, and your cavassier yeah. and your, and your, your short, you know what I'm saying? I don't drink the, these drinks, these, you know, you know what I'm saying? No, no, I don't know what you're saying. So, Tennessee, so I said, I'll pay the, I, so she goes, well, how much is the cover? $50? No, no, ain't no damn $50. It's $10. So $20 off the top. I'll take care of that. Well, you got, and then so the dude that she was with had sweatpants, right? With no pockets. <laughs> and he's going like this. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I know it's coming. Shit. Damn it. Who, who, who does this? Ain't no <laughs> pockets here. Did he have on like one of those Nike no, straps a, that, that you keep your phone in when you run? That's like a, a Velcro? That's a t-shirt and a jacket. Is that a t-shirt? What kind of jacket? Was it a dress suit jacket? I, I couldn't say that. I heard every jacket because it's cold as shit outside. Okay. But he's going like this and shit. Checking his knees. <laughs> going, oh, Jack, I forgot my wallet. I'm like, dude, oh, I, I don't know what to do. Hey, and he goes like this. Yeah, but she said you was cool. Oh, you was. You was supposed to be cool. And I go, dude, I, 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 that's when I got it. And yeah. so she pulled out her, her debit card. This is how long ago it was. This one, they, they, they debit cards are the thing. And she goes, they don't take debit cards here, right? So the waiter, he came and saved me. We're like, yeah, yeah, there's an ATM machine three blocks <laughs> away. Right? Three blocks away. Homeboy try to leave with her. I'm going to go out with her to make sure she's safe and, and warm. <laughs> yeah. And the waiter like, no, 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 no. You got to stay your ass here. <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of the story. Oh, oh man, that was sad. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing, though. Uh-huh. I stopped jerking onto her after two weeks. <laughs> that story was so sad, they should play it before every comedy show here <laughs> at Just for Laughs. <laughs> Wait, you gave it two more weeks of jerk-off time? Yeah, because I, I already had it in the, in the schedule. Right, yeah. <laughs> Wait, does he have time that you jerk off? Do you have like a, you know, like people write certain parts of the day? Do you have a, are you morning, midday, oh, I evening? Oh, dude, dude, when that feeling, I, I learned this about jerking off. When you get, when you get that feeling. <laughs> Wait, hold on, where'd you learn it? <laughs> Where did you learn this? For myself. When you, when you get that feeling, don't save it for later. Like, you know what, I'm gonna jerk off later. Hey, hey, well, man, wait, never come back. And you got one of these dicks. <laughs> you got one of these dicks. Cause you're saving it for later. <laughs> so get it while you get it. Did y'all just walk in? No, no, no. They were walked out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you walk up or you walked out? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! This will is crazy. <laughs> You're gonna cheat this story. We all said a cheating story. I cheat on my diet all the time. I brought a pie for you guys because I was late. Sweet. But then you guys are fucking schmucks, and I was actually early, so I can take the pie back home. No, what do you mean? So you are, you are, what do you call it? What do you call that? What, what's that phrase? When you when take something back? someone takes a gift back? Yeah, what do you call it? Uh, Ex-girlfriend. No. <laughs> what, what is it? What do you mean? What's that phrase? What? what? Indian giver. No, it's, Indian na giver. it's Native American giver. <laughs> they don't say Native Americans in this country. Oh, because we're not I'm saying indigenous. Aboriginal yeah. givers. No, they'll say that's Australia. It's politically it's incorrect. All indigenous. All the people that we killed and put and made them drunk alcoholic skivers. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my bad. It's too, too, that's sorry. too real, dude. P play, that, play this part during the beginning of the show, too. <laughs> and you know what's funny? That was the first time in this whole podcast he's talked perfectly clear. <laughs> and it was the most offensive most thing. Most fucked up shit. <laughs> But I'm well, still taking my pie home, though. It's crazy. Well, you know, he's on um, Canada's Got Talent, right? 
Are you asking? Are you asking me? I'm telling you. Oh, well, telling why you, you said white with a question mark? If if you had to say you were the Amer uh, like one of the four judges in the America's Got Talent, are you the the British dude or who are you? Are you the nice one or are you the mean one? Yeah, you're such Le a nice I'm guy. Leaning, I'm leaning towards mean. You lean really? towards mean. Yeah, you yeah, being yeah. an artist yourself. You you bullied him, art them new artists all the time. Like, you guys fucking suck. You don't <laughs> say that, do you? Trash. He got he got <laughs> asshole type of vibe though, Cardi. It's in the DNA. It's the Jamaican essence in him. Listen, only mean people can wear orange pants like strongly, because <laughs> you know I'm gonna tell everybody fuck off. I think these orange pants are amazing. He got so. he, he got orange pants on and and pink thongs underneath that. <laughs> <laughs> See, and he would know because he analyzes. Fingers, uh, party? <laughs> and somehow but, but followed me to the washroom to see what type Carter of underwear now, I had. I've been friends with Carter now since at least 98, 99, some shit. 90-something. He's the perfect combination. He's the perfect Canadian, Torontonian, slash Jamaican. So sometimes it's the utmost respect. <laughs> we'll, we'll be at some corporate event, and he's showing these people the utmost, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. This is very grateful. Da, da, da. And sometimes we're at the door. Some doorman won't let us into a club. He's like, yo, man, I take not disrespect. <laughs> but my club. I'm like, what happened to that? What happened to that? How, how you make it can you get? Hold right. on a oh, second, oh, but oh. you know, any one of my friends should know my only rule that I have. What's my what's my rule? I mean, I take no disrespect. Thank you. That's nah. it. Can and you can wait? Can you translate that's that? That's all I got. Listen, if you're my to the white people, they, they're from Toronto. They know. <laughs> <laughs> Caribbean culture is infused in Toronto. It's not like it's like not a everybody thing. here speak Buyaka Buyaka. Is anybody know it? <laughs> Men are tech, no disrespect. Who doesn't know what that means? Do you think they're gonna say it now yeah, so yeah, he can yeah. look dumb? Yeah, those white people did look at me like I don't, I don't know. What <laughs> I don't take any disrespect. No for Okay, him. okay, now break that down. Who, who takes disrespect? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go, I, I need to take some disrespect. There's some people that you'd be surprised yeah. the amount of people that no, actually take disrespect. He, he, Cardi switches fast. My fuse is this. It's it's this my fuse is about this long. That's a lot oh, of okay. fuse. That's a lot of fuse, dude. For a firecracker? Not for dynamite. What Maybe for a firecracker, but not for dynamite. Two different things. What was dynamite, like? short fuse. Firecracker, long fuse. What was the last thing that made you fucking blow the fuse? A white guy calling the N-word. <laughs> no. No. Um, it's been years to be, thank God. I'm trying to think. It's probably that same fucking story yeah. that Simon told It's probably talking. not been years. It's all the time, yo. Guy, listen, I have a, a rep to uphold here, please. <laughs> you have a what? You have a what? Sorry. Rep, sir. Sorry, Howie Mandel doesn't know this side of Cardinal <laughs> for Shell. He definitely does not. <laughs> Is Howie on the show with you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, watch yeah. the show, huh? I, I, I get high and I watch America's Got Talent. Well, I do with Big J. I watch, Jefferson. Yeah. I watch Haitian Got Talent. <laughs> what channel is that on? It's his mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Always waiting for Howie to show up. <laughs> oh, shit. Buzzes himself. Just, I just can now envision Will just like juggling in the mirror. <laughs> like. You said jumping or jacking off? Both, actually. <laughs> I don't jack off in the mirror, man. Yo, have you ever accidentally jacked off in the mirror? I and caught myself. Like, I've caught myself in a reflection before, and it's disturbing. Worst. Yeah, it's the saddest. It's so bad. That's fucking weird. It's the yo. saddest. I caught myself one time. I had to turn off all the lights and finish jacking off <laughs> in the dark because I couldn't. I, I couldn't do it. How did you catch it? I, I was like, I was walking. I was on the floor and I was walking. <laughs> I know we don't wait, ask wait, the wait, 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 wait. You were walking and jerking off? Can I, can I, can I finish? That, is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and, and on the phone. You know what I'm saying? He's but walking, and jerking off. Can I finish? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. He's like, Air Canada, I need to switch my flight. <laughs> Man, come on. Right <laughs> I was right at the point where so? the guy was like, I can switch it for you, but I just need your credit card number. I'm like, I'm on stage. I can't get my credit card number. <laughs> Sir, are you jacking up or are you jacking down? <laughs> <laughs> are you jacking this way or you jacking this way? Go ahead, Will. What's your story about you being on the oh, phone yeah. and walking? Oh, yeah, so every now and then, you know what I'm saying, I spice things up for me, you know what I'm saying, for my job. For yourself. Yeah, I'll call a girl up and stuff. I'll call a girl up and, yeah. and be like, hey, 
and just get a little fire, get a little spice going, oh, nice. so that so Jack Hawk can feel real. Is this one of those girls that you haven't seen for a year or so? Yeah, probably one okay. of them, right? And yeah. so, so she didn't pick up, so I, 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 so I begin, I commenced to smash myself, right, right, and then the phone rang, right? Yeah. But I, I'm like, oh, that got to be her. I'm going, and I picked up, and then it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't her. <laughs> 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 What? I said, with which hand did you pick up? I'm, I'm left-handed. So okay. I, I Me jerk. too. I jerk off left-handed too. What? No, no, don't, 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 don't do it. You so, got to learn how to use the mouse. Remember back in the day with the mouse? Okay, never. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm jerking off before you were even bored. Right, but if you're left-handed, don't you need your left hand for the mouse? No, I'm right-handed. So I'm, I'm I use the mouse I'm, and then this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go so, ahead. so it was my accountant that needed more information on my taxes. <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit. And then, but I, my my shit is like, so I get up, I'm I'm looking, I'm going through the, my my cases and shit. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then I just look at the mirror like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Hi. Right. <laughs> I, don't, I can't believe Will even has an accountant. That's crazy. <laughs> it was a quick call. <laughs> and then I got the information, and I, I, I turned off all the lights and put the phone on airplane mode and just smash, finished smashing myself. Why'd you have to put it on airplane mode? I would have accidentally pick up. You can't talk. ignore. He's, no, but he's right. When you do, you know, there's the do not disturb thing on the uh, on your uh, Mac, MacBook Pro. Like, you need to put that on because some names will pop up and you don't want to, it's like you're jerking off and it's just like, only, like, so like Aunt Shirley pops <laughs> up and then she's in your head. You got to fucking, you got to shut it down, bro. This is like a lot of detail to whacking off. Like, I've never heard any of this something. shit before. Let me tell you something. This is how I was celebrating from 2007 to 2015. What? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. a lot of a lot of corsi socks in my house. Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. So you were you were what? celibate so, to actually act of sex, but you were still pleasuring yeah, but, yourself. But look, okay. I still got ten. Wait, wait, hold on. I gotta ask though. <laughs> why? <laughs> why were you jerking yeah. off into a sock? Uh, because I, oh, I believe I believe in like I don't want to kill all the trees by putting a napkin. I'm gonna wash the sock anyway, so I'm, I'm helping out. Wait, you don't, you're, gonna, you're gonna nut in the sock, wash it, and then put it back you're not on. Wear the sock. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Dude. what? I never knew. And I, he, listen, he tells about jerking off his socks all the time, but I, I thought there were your specific jerk off socks. No, it's not your socks that you it's just a regular I'm sock. Need, I'm gonna need one for me and wow. one for my penis. No, you, you wear. The socks you jerk off in? I, Please I don't, don't say I yes. I wear them. At the, I wash them. You wash them. Yeah. Right. It doesn't make. Do you know how hard it is to get nut out of anything? Well, stop using the sheet deodorant, the 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 detergent. <laughs> what? Use good detergent. <laughs> I do fluff and fold in New York. I let somebody else wash it. I just don't nut in socks. I never got that. I know. Back to the story. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> From 2007. So there was a period of my life in 2006, I wanted to take control over the things that control me. Procrastination, playing video games, um, um, Jerking off. Having, having sex, <laughs> yeah. eating bad. I used to weigh 220 pounds. I dropped 70 pounds by changing my diet and, and grabbing control over these things. Like, Nobody I, cares about all this. I want to be a master. The socks. I want to be a master of, the, of these things, I, of, my, of my body. Not these things be the master of me. So... Uh, but I still, I'm still tempted. Women are delicious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see. You know what I'm saying? Always. Yeah. So I gotta. Uh, the way I do it. Yeah. I disarm myself. Uh huh. I go home, smash myself. I go out and go back. Hey, Will. I'm like, mm, you ain't got no power on me, girl. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? And aren't you celibate right now? Uh, no. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes or no? That, 2019 was the last time I had some. Oh, okay. Are you serious? Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I mean, is that bad? Is it no, it's pandemic? not bad. I just, I, I see you at, you know, with the comedy. Just you, you're hosting at the comedy cell. You're so funny, and there's all these gorgeous women there. Oh, I see you talking to, and you're, and you always like, dude, Will is the first person. Like, if you're talking to somebody, he'll just come up. He's got this high tech camera on his cell phone. It just takes pictures. You're a, you're a great wingman. It's called a Google Pixel camera. <laughs> <laughs> Google Pixel make the best cameras. But I can't believe you haven't had any. This podcast is sponsored by Google Pixel Cameras. <laughs> and Cal and shout to Calabash. Calabash tea. I got all my teas. You guys like tea? And champion Lorenz socks. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
or the knee-high socks. But I don't know which one's better. <laughs> we're the only two black people on the, on the panel, and we're attacking each other. All these whites are like, yeah, look at them. Black on black crime. <laughs> By the way, black on black crime is well, just crime. Easy, not, easy, easy. Wait, easy. hold it, calm down. Talk clearly. Stop right. saying black on black crime. Listen, whoever, whoever the booker is, never put him on a racism <laughs> panel before the fucking podcast. Yeah, you really Ever want, again. Right white on white crime. Nobody say white on Most of the crimes are committed by the race. That they, that they, you know what I'm saying? That race. Yeah, he said this before in front of, I'm gonna name drop, sorry. He said this in front of Dave Chappelle, and Dave goes, What's black on black quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because I didn't want to say it. Uh, Will, uh, <laughs> she's black, she's white. <laughs> Will, we gotta get to the news, man. Oh, shoot. Sure. Well, we gotta get to the news. Well, well keep the talking news. until yeah, I get, okay. do you guys have like a news segment anthem or something, like something that plays. Yeah, it'll it's, <laughs> the, it's playing right now. Listen, hear it, hear it in the edit that will be on the audio podcast. Ah, this shit's popping, amazing. Yeah. Keep talking. I I'm not ready yet. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys, a couple. You guys together? There's a couple in the front row. Nice. How long you been together? Five years. She. Why did you elbow him? I like that. She was like. <laughs> Right, good. See, you got to be ready at any moment. You don't know when you're going to get crowd worked at a random podcast and figure out the length of your relationship. <laughs> Five years. That's nice. Married? Not married. What's going on? Wife oh, hires. <laughs> Wait, you didn't tell what kind of news it is, Will. Huh? Yeah, drop what kind oh, of news. Oh, this is uh, NOC news with Will Silvins. You guys know what, you know what NOC mean? No. You, do you, are you saying you don't care? I didn't say I didn't care. I just don't know what NOC is. So you say no one cares. Or no. just say oh. No, it's called No One Cares News. Oh, shit. Whoa, yeah. you're the first person to ever get that. It wasn't that hard. Wow, I know. <laughs> you just said it. You, you know, the fuck, you, you know I, no one cares? We would like, think, you think it's not that hard, but no one ever gets it when he... When he that's, you're fucking... You're on it, bro. The, they don't, don't, pay don't use your left hand. Uh, <laughs> 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 I haven't jerked off today yet. No time. <laughs> Wife hires three presentable mistresses on 340... Two pound wage to keep her husband happy. Wait, say that again? Yeah, do it again. Oh, wait a minute. Talk clearly. And is that British when you're talking about pounds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, say it again. No, no, no. I'm talking about black people giving each other 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to make sure and differentiate between our kind of pound and our English friend's pound. So. Oh, also, there's pound. Pound. Well, <laughs> you have to that's, it the, out. That's, the, that's the, what do they call it? Ambidextrous pound that you're doing there? Because we thought you were only left handed. No, he's ambidextrous. You were just doing the two hand no, special. No, no, no. The, the real, the real, the real. When you pounding that ass. Well, I'm <laughs> proud that you remember what that's like. All right, keep going. <laughs> yeah, 2019. <laughs> this is black on black crime for real. <laughs> black on black. <laughs> Wife hires three pres presentable mistresses on 342 pound wage to keep her husband happy. Okay. After suffering from an illness, a woman in Thailand is hoping to hire mistresses for her husband who still has a high drive and lots of energy. Who had the accident? Her or him? She did. She, she had the accident. Yeah, okay. so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the she... Yeah, go ahead. The wife of Thai... Huh? <laughs> the wife of a Thai man is seeking three beautiful and educated women to keep her husband happy. <laughs> educated. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be able to have a good discussion after. Okay, I'm gonna hack this name up. You gotta what? I'm gonna hack this name up. He's gonna hack, fuck it up. Hack. Yeah. Pat, pat, the, pat, <laughs> pat him, pat him, me, pat him, ma. Spell it out, dude. P A T T H E E M A. <laughs> okay, good. You know None of us would have got that. 44 has been advertising for the role. With videos and reveal that she has a short list, short list of two women so far. Oh, oh she got good. yeah, okay. That's a good wife. Yeah, that's a good wife having this, uh, being not being able to take care of your husband. So hiring, I don't know why they have to be educated. I, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't understand the educated part. I like I, she, under, I understood the hot. Like if she's educated, that's all he needs in the education department. Dude, you know how many times my dick went sore because because the girl was like said some dumb shit. Uh, I, okay, good point. 
That is a good point. You go, what are you guys talking about no. while your dick is hard? What are yeah. you talking about? No, I <laughs> said some dumb shit. <laughs> this girl told me one time, she said, I can't, I can't eat today because my toots hurt. What? I said, you mean your teeth? She said, no, 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 not all of them. Just these two toots. <laughs> <laughs> she thought teeth mean all your teeth at the same damn time. Right. So there's one tooth. Then a couple is toots. 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 Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then when you talk about all of them, them is teeth. I got to get all my teeth removed. Huh? And that turned you off. Yeah. I was like, I can't. I can't. You I can't. can't. Yeah. If, you know, look, when, when, when ignorance get on your penis... You're going to be ignorant sooner or later. <laughs> that's why you, that's not, and that's another reason why you should wear a condom. Oh, uh, if, if, if a condom you're, protects you're, you from, not from ignorance? Yeah. Uh, you think you get fucking stupidity into you? Yeah, you, you never been around stupid people and then you said some stupid shit? Yeah, but not, you know, during sex. I, I'm like, I don't feel like my IQ gets lowered after I have Maybe sex you never with a really paid person. attention. Yeah. Maybe it was happening. You, you didn't think, realize you it. You think stupid people know that they're stupid? No. The worst. No. Do, do stupid people know? Anybody? Does anybody know? Do stupid people know? No, they, they don't. Know? It's like it's like someone said it. I can't remember the quote, but it's like when people die. The dead motherfucker don't know he's dead. Only people that's alive knows. Just say things being stupid. Well, you don't know that for sure. You don't know what happens in the afterlife. I'm just saying stupid people don't know they're stupid. Only people that's around them that suffers. You don't, Again, you don't know. You don't know what happens when your soul, maybe you suffer after that. You never you watched. Don't even um, you never me. saw. You never watched. Um, Coco. Who? Coco. The cartoon. Yeah. Oh, the movie I think you're talking about Ice T's wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> the movie Coco. I've seen her. Yeah. But you don't even believe. You're atheist. I'm not atheist. Yeah. You said you don't believe in nothing. No, I'm agnostic. What is that? That's his brother. That's his older brother. Agnostic. agnostic means you don't know. I don't know what's going on out there. It's the there. Puerto Rican cousin of atheists. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Finally, we were on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, man has divided us so long. Would you do that for your husband, Miss? Your 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 boyfriend? Would you hire mistresses for him? If he if you got if, if you had if your pussy broke? If you had a car accident and every and your whole vagina was damaged, just fucked up. You but, you're, hire... but you're still a good person at heart. Yeah. Sounds like we're both in a bad situation. <laughs> you wouldn't let him? No. Would you divorce him? No. So you just gonna let him suffer? Sorry, if you're you're actually talking to the wrong person in this scenario. <laughs> no disrespect. Ask the guy you gotta with, ask him wait, what wait. he would do. Ask the guy would he get another some other dicks for his girl if his dick got to no, a terrible. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's. All right, a, all right you're in the car. You, wait, you took it. You took it all the way to the left. What I was saying is you gotta ask him. No disrespect. Okay, is, okay it, let's it, say. Let's say you decide to be to to join to become a Jewish person, right? And you go for your what? adult circumcision. Wait, what? And they cut way too much off. That's not what he said. Why did you have to bring that Jews also, into that this? Also is he could have just I'm... said like a, like he gets hit in the balls by a kettlebell <laughs> and his dick gets gangrene and falls <laughs> off. You only go so racial. You'd be like these dirty Jews cutting their dick off. <laughs> And then they, they snip too much because the rabbi's crazy with his devil horns. What I was saying is if she's fucked up, yeah. you got to ask him what he would do and for how long. Because that's the real dude. question. I want them how to stay long would together. He, how long would he stay? Would he be the Will Sylvance and like hold out for six years yeah. beating off into a sock? Yeah. Or would he have the conversation and say, hey, listen, you got to put out an ad. What about, miss, what about would you buy him Fresh socks on a quarterly basis. Okay, you'll buy him fresh socks so he doesn't have to jerk off into. Oh, wait, I got something to ask you. At least dress socks. What about, you see no, so it's silky. <laughs> but, then the, but then the excrement seeps out of dress socks. Yeah, the socks are so thin. Have you ever like? Have you ever like? Uh, um, have you ever like? Um, what do you call it? When you juice something and you use a you use one of those yep. juices. Uh, yep. Yeah, but you use the thing to that, catch the pulp. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so like, all the all the swimmers are stuck in the sock, but just the <laughs> the other part. Yeah, the free the free come come out. <laughs> yeah, but Will's nasty ass would just wash it and make juice. <laughs> this it's usually not this dirty. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh. What else is going on pulp. in the news, Will? Oh, you want me to continue? Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, I might actually watch your podcast now. This is amazing. <laughs> Bro, this show is the best non-talked about podcast. <laughs> it's very funny. Doctors warn dangerous rab rabbing TikTok trend that sees women using vaginal discharge as perfume could cause thrust or even infer infertility. Ooh, okay, what? one more time. One more time. <laughs> Talk clearly. I, I only understood vaginal discharge. That's all I heard. The thing, is, the thing is, Will doesn't read these stories beforehand, so he's just getting it, and when he reads it... I can't be shocked like y'all. Okay, go ahead. One more time. Doctors warn dangerous vabbing. V-A-B-B-I-N-G. What's that? Vabbing. Okay, okay, it's when, okay. They, when they take the pussy juice and put it on. Yeah. Ew, what? Yeah, yeah it's a TikTok. It's Rabbing, a TikTok thing. Rabbing TikTok trends that sees women using vaginal discharge as perfume that could cause thrust or even infertility. That is a warning against a new viral TikTok trend that sees single women use their vaginal discharge as perfume. Mm. That's how, I said. how could mm. that cause infertility? No, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know. Maybe they push more badge up in there when they go and try to get some more out, out there. This is a disgusting story. <laughs> that's filthy. <laughs> Who would want to smell like that? Because that's they think that's what attracts men. Yeah. Absolutely not. Have you smelled your finger like <laughs> all the time? Who wants to smell like that? <laughs> You're filthy. I'm well, like, mm. You want to smell it like that? No, 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 no. Meaning like, oh, I'm saying when he said, when you do that to your fingers, we all, we all like, go, go give him a hug and like. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, you got a hug? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, you could come back tomorrow. But how do you, how do you, <laughs> how, do you br how do you brush your teeth after you eat out a girl? What? How do you brush your teeth? I always, <laughs> I always have to like, Brush the outside of my mouth. <laughs> really? You never do that? No. no way. I brush my teeth, but then I also like scrub the outside of my mouth. Please I'm, tell me she's left by that time, because that would be really <laughs> bad. Hold I on. shut the door. Yeah. First of all, you're brushing your first cheeks. Of all, you mean like, the, like, like here, like yeah. outside? First yeah. First of all, because the juices get on the outside. Ninety-nine point nine percent of women I dealt with. They all clean. So yeah. all this men talking about women stink. I have I let, I'm not saying it stinks. 99%. I'm not saying it stinks, but there's some there's some not juice. 100? Well, that was one girl. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't blame one girl on all you can't she don't represent all women. It's just her. She just you know what I'm saying? I guess. But most good women are cleaner than men. I shake a woman's hand, but I give men fist bumps, cause men Oh shit. Not after I don't know this if I story. agree with I that. I just gotta <laughs> I got a, I just got a text message from the festival. They said, make sure you keep the podcast clean. Oh, no, they did not. For real? <laughs> Are you serious? It's tidy. No, I'm not serious. Bro. It's, a, it's a comedy show. <laughs> oh, oh, that was supposed to be funny? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped the whole show to do that. Some people laughed. You know, it's, it's American on American crime. That's yeah. what it is. Why you do? Why? What's this Caribbean on Caribbean crime, Will? <laughs> you don't even you claim Caribbean. Stop sounds like you're claim Puerto Rican. Nah, you're right. I'm only Puerto Rican because I'm, I'm in New York. What? Where are you everywhere else? <laughs> the American. Nice. Yeah. Like, I don't have no ties to Puerto Rico. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Your hair would say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ethnically... I'm ethnically Puerto Rican, not culturally Puerto Rican. You know what I mean? You, you speak Spanish? No. What I'm, else? Anything else? I'm, Do I eat I'm, rice and beans? I'm sure, once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ethnically white, but the cops don't understand that. Will has a Haitian <laughs> Will has a Haitian accent, strong Haitian accent, was born in the United States of America. So what? <laughs> Why the fuck do you sound like that? Whoa, you were born here? <laughs> yeah. No, this, is, here. this is like this is the Canada. end of the sixth sense. I was like, what? <laughs> How do you have that accent? <laughs> and then you still talk like that. I don't have an accent. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, shit. It's just mass. You could put on different yeah, accents. Look, if I change it, what the blow clock, pussy clock, my clock. And Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> is that your American? Uh, 
Hey, everybody. That's how American stuff. That's his cop voice. That's his, like, get out of <laughs> Hey, let shit. me ask you a question. Yes. What's the craziest thing you ever, you, ever, you ever said during sex? I remember one time I was having sex with a girl, and she I swear to God, she said, I'm about to come. And I just said to her, I went, vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. That, why? why? I was young. I was young. I was, like, 19 why? years old. <laughs> And she went, oh, there that goes. <laughs> Vice versa. Yep. Not one of my proudest moments, but you know why? You it's because, laugh. It's because it was laugh. an educated girl, so yeah. it is hoping. Oh, vice versa. This is turning me on. Vice versa. Vice versa. I don't even say that in regular conversation. <laughs> Podcast is terrible. I He's know. white. I so that, well, I guess. I got soul though. I've got I'm a white boy, but I got what soul. What you said that was crazy. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't say nothing crazy. I stick to the hits. You don't be like. <laughs> what are the hits? What are the, the hits? The hits are like. Does it feel good? You like this? Who's your favorite? Call me daddy. Whose pussy is this? You know the hits. <laughs> you mean whose house is this? The slime still gets all of his hits from Debbie Does Dallas. <laughs> like, who still says that? It whose is? house is this? What do you mean? <laughs> Who pays the rent here? <laughs> 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 Who just bought you those apple juices? <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time, I told this girl, oh, I, "No, this is the mid, this is in the." You could have just said the word. You don't have to act it out. <laughs> yeah, Please, you gotta act it out. You, you really got into double character down, just Will. now. Will, I, like to, I like to relive the situation. <laughs> Will, Will, Will lives a very meta life. <laughs> one time, I said to this girl, "This is in the mist." Like I was like, you know, the, like not 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 that I'm about to come. You know that I'm about to come. There's coming or there's at the post come. Coming, I'm about to come. There's a level before that, right? Which is like, where, where, how many levels are there? There's okay, just the they, regular. They just, they just cruising. So you just cruising. So that's street. regular, like when you no, start. No, 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 that's just cruising. You just now they're like, oh shit, oh shit, is that the cops? Right. And then like, oh shit, it is the cops. Oh shit, they chasing us. Okay. And then you locked up. Okay. So you, oh, you got shot. You were cruising. I'm, uh, no, no, no. This is past. Oh, cruising. you like, is that the cops? Yeah, that, okay. is that the cops? <laughs> <laughs> And I said to her, I think I love you. And she goes, oh. you think? <laughs> <laughs> and I just said, I love you. <laughs> and I was caught, and I was caught up in the, that's how I got caught up in the relationship. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Uh, do the Cardi's contract for Canada's Ken- Ken- Got Talent. He's not allowed to tell us his story. Oh, we can talk about vaginal discharge, but we can't. <laughs> I don't actually have stories. You guys talk too fucking much during sex. What are you doing? Yeah, so, just, so much can go wrong. Say, I think I love you to say too much? I, I, well, yes, apparently, never, according to you. Yeah. You never you never drop one of your verses during sex? All the time. You never be like, they just like, keep holding me, <laughs> won't let go. <laughs> or you be like, it's you, a Mr. Canadian or Mr. Canuck. <laughs> I feel like you've acted this out before. You be like, <laughs> you did the car neck and then no sack, make me slack. <laughs> oh my and God. And she be like, <laughs> yo, do you think there's rappers that actually like rap their shit? Like, I think while there is. Do you think so? I think there's Which e- one? I think there's egotistical rappers that definitely drop Work? some shit. That's why. Like a yeah. young thug or somebody. He looks like the type that be singing in some pussy. <laughs> you know little you know Lil Wayne does. He has to rhyme when he fucks. You know what I mean? With that voice. He's just like, I'm gonna get pussy so good. Bro. I'm hard like wood. Yo, what if there's a girl that <laughs> I'm has glad so you many selected the lines that had didn't have the N-word? <laughs> what if there's a girl that has so many sex tapes with Lil Wayne? That she basically has an unreleased Little Wayne album. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Oh, all right. All right. I guess we gotta get out of here. We didn't even say how to find our friends here. How do people find you, Josh? Uh, at Josh Adam Myers on all social media, joshadammyers.com for tickets. Uh, I'm on the road uh, constantly, so uh, come see me, all right? No, listen, this guy, I'm not, I'm not bullshitting you. He has a show called <laughs> The Goddamn Comedy Jam. And this calm, poised person that's sitting here today is not the guy you see on that stage. This is Bruce Banner. Yeah, this is Bruce Banner, and then when he does the goddamn comedy jam, he turns into the Incredible Hulk. We did this show in D.C. for the D.C. Improv. We did the uh, 30th 
the, the 30th birthday of the DC the Improv. Right Somebody opened a pack of Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> We did a 30 year anniversary. It's and the dad socks. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Bro, this guy murders it. I got to do your show when we do it. No, Sunday? Wait. Dude, but if you guys want to come to something fun, it's a free show. Yeah. Uh, Will and Sife are both going to be singing. Uh, I'm ex- I, I, I have trust in Sife. Mm. I am so excited to hear Will <laughs> attempt to sing an Elton John song. <laughs> Usually I don't give it away, but come, it's free. He'll bring yeah. his socks. <laughs> and Cardinal. You can find me at Fortino's, Whole Foods, <laughs> St. Lawrence Market. <laughs> Just around, around Toronto? Yeah, I'm around. You got Canada's Got Talent. Is that coming back? Do I really have, we, we, told, we, we spoke about this. Me, listen, me and Sife, I know we're supposed to go, but me and Sife, we have a problem with self-promotion. It feels yeah. weird. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, uh, we, suck we should it. have somebody here that says all this shit and we just nod like, Did yep. you guys, let me mm-hmm. ask you a question. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Was awesome. this an entertaining podcast? <laughs> if me and Will just promoted somewhat so we'd be fucking packed in here, <laughs> even though there's a good amount of people here, but we don't promote shit. Where you gonna be at? Ah, uh, for Tito's, Whole Foods. <laughs> Now, nah, you can follow me at Cypher Sounds. It's a weird name. C I P H A, and then the word sound. Cypher Sounds. And I'm excited to do my goddamn comedy jam. My first one I'm doing in the Toronto Just for Last Comedy Fest. Nice. There's a, a bunch of firsts for me this week, and I'm having a great time in my second home of T Dot. I say T Dot, not the six, because I'm old school Toronto. Okay? <laughs> Also, uh, Will Silvins, Will One L S Y L V I N C E. Also, oh. shout out to Calabash T. Shout out to Zainab Johnson, who's killing it. Shout out to Patrice O'Neill. Shout out to Keith Robinson. Shout out to um. Who are you? What are you doing? Dave Chappelle. Shout- He's gone back to the panel discussion. <laughs> uh, okay, real quick. Shout out to Cardinal for shout out Will Silvins. My friend Josh Adam Myers, highest new cipher sounds. This is our audience at the festival. Everybody say happy birthday to my agent, Megan McWaters. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Megan McWaters. Oh, give me some fucking energy. <laughs> happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Megan McWaters. McWaters. You get the cornet in your sack, make me slap. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.